So I just recorded an unboxing of an animal. I had a second one to unbox. I wasn't gonna record the unboxing because I thought it was gonna be boring. Guess what? It's not boring. The ball python's head is completely taped over. What do I mean? Let me show you. How do you... I have spent so much of my time recently talking about how horribly animals have been packaged. In the irony of opening this in the the pop the it is its head is taped shut its eyeballs are being stuck into its skull so now i have to get it off also not in the bag the the heat this was oh my god okay it's extremely warm it feels like it's like 110 degrees like unironically probably over 110 degrees how i don't understand did you did you even did you even try to use the bag what how how i oh my god. let's get peeling luckily it's packing tape and not like duct tape. A lot of people use duct tape in their packages. Maybe don't use duct tape because this, it's filled with moisture. I don't know if he was drooling in it or what. If it doesn't come off easily, I'll lubricate it with something, but it actually looks like it's coming off not too like painfully. <laughs> I'm unironically so tired of dealing with this garbage. Not the snake itself, just everything that comes along with it. Look at you shedding off your first packing tape. It's coming off not too hard. He's, all things considered, quite sweet. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Luckily, it didn't cover his nostrils and his mouth. It was very close. We'll kind of investigate the box and see how this happened in a minute. So scales came off. Uh, I'm guessing he just had some stuck shed. Which he no longer does. Oh, actually. So now he's covered in tape residue and he's probably feeling pretty dang good now. <laughs> he also gets to cool down. It's very rare that a ball python gets so hot that he was like legitimately cooking inside that box. Wrapped around the heat pack is kind of depressing. Aside from that, he looks like a normal ball python. Was this a pastel? I don't actually know. Uh, but yeah, it was shipped in. I, I knew it was coming. It's one that we like prepared for and sent them supplies and everything. So I guess let's check out the box now. I guess it was from the heat pack. I don't really know where that tape came from. Aside from that, the packaging would have been fine if he was in the bag, if the bag was tied, if the heat pack was taped on the... Okay, the packaging wasn't great, but you know what? He's alive. So the clips that you just saw were recorded a month ago. It's now been about three and a half weeks. And here's the ball python. Now watching back, I feel like I was a little bit unnecessarily mean. In my defense, there were a lot of annoying cases happening that exact day. There were multiple animals that came in condition that they were not supposed to. I was dealing with some annoying clients. And overall, I was just having a bad day. I'm having a pretty good day today. So now you'll see my contrast of what I think about this. And ultimately, first of all, the ball python. I have multiple pastel ball pythons here. And to figure out which one was the tape on the head one, I actually had to check all the ball pythons to make sure I had the right one. And I feel like that's a good sign and means that it's actually looking pretty good because it is. If you look at its neck, you can tell that something is just slightly off and that some of the scales have a slightly different texture. So what I thought might be permanent scale damage actually just looks like it'll be pretty temporary scale damage because it's still there, but his tummy's turning a little red and that means that he's most likely going into shed or he has scale rot, but I don't think he has scale rot. So I'm pretty sure he's just about to shed. And so because of that, I'm guessing that it won't even be noticeable after that shed and uh, that top layer of the scales come off. So overall, he took it like a champ. Uh, however, it would have been bad if that tape was just half an inch further up on his like face because he couldn't open his mouth with how the tape was. And the only two ways they can breathe is through that like weird hole in their mouth and through their nostrils. So had his nostrils been covered, he probably would have suffocated and died in the box, which would have been kind of depressing. It, people make mistakes all the time when shipping, myself included. No matter how many animals I ship, I'm still eventually going to make mistakes. And so I've had a few animals, I believe one, where the animal actually did escape the bag and was just sitting in the box. I had a few others where the heat pack did fall in the box and onto the animal. And I've had some where tape became dislodged and maybe stuck onto the deli cup or the bag that's in it. The problem with this snake that came in is all of that happened. The bag was not secured, the heat pack was not secured, the tape was not secured, which means he got out of the bag, the heat pack fell, and the tape wrapped around his head. It was just the worst 
possible scenario. I guess not the worst possible scenario because he is in fact alive. He was very sweet from the start. If this was one of those grumpy snakes, like if it was some of the boas I've had to unbox or some of the even just colubrids that are a bit more grumpy and upset, it would have been a massive pain <laughs> dealing with an angry animal. So I'm very grateful that he's calm and sweet and didn't really seem to mind all things considered um overall with him yeah i mean he's chill um, he eats he's, he doesn't have the best appetite like some ball pythons they'll like instantly eat they'll be like active and ready for the food before i even offer it to them because they can smell it in the room uh like when i'm thawing out the mice and rats he's not like that but he eats slightly reluct reluctantly but overall i can't complain uh he does have a few like miscolored scales which i don't know if that's i don't even think that's related to the tape but I think it's just a, a quirk that he happens to have. Something that's kind of random, but people oftentimes ask for, they'll like send a picture to me and ask how old their snake is. When I, I mean, I have no idea. With, <laughs> with many reptiles, there are very few ways to tell just how old it is. Uh, and there's too many variables. Cause even if it's a certain size, maybe that animal was fed too much. It was fed too little. So it grew too fast or grew too slow. Uh, or maybe it's naturally bigger, naturally smaller. And then once it is an adult, if you have like an adult ball python and it's clearly an adult, who knows if it's three and a half to four years old or 35 to 40 years old. Like sure, maybe they slow down by the end of their life, but there's very few ways to tell. However, some snakes like pastel ball pythons, their morphs actually change as they grow. So pastels I think are really pretty as babies, but really ugly as adults because they have this bright, strong yellows that like shine through their scales. And then once they're an adult, it turns to like a muddy brownish almost greenish just not super pretty and so you can actually see on his scales he's like in between so you can see at the bottom of his uh like by his belly it's a nice bright yellow and then as you go up towards the spine it's turning a little bit ugly so this could just be a variation as well it's definitely not a perfect science trying to guess how old the animal is that's why on emerald scales if there's not an age listed we're gonna have no idea you can feel free to ask but we're just gonna say we have no idea uh, we really just base it on if it seems to be healthy and active and i feel like we can tell if an animal is reaching the end of its lifespan because it starts to slow down it starts to lose muscle mass it might not eat as much and stuff like that that was random and unrelated but <laughs> the thing i wanted to update you on is that he is in fact okay from the tape is he traumatized i don't know I have not found any therapy options for ball pythons, so he's gonna have to deal with his own traumas by himself. As of recording, there are a few animals on emerald scales. There's, I guess I can just pull it up and tell you to be exact. Currently, there's a black and white tegu. I don't think I uploaded that video yet, but I shipped off the other tegu in a video, and then I got a new tegu who I recorded unboxing, so I'll probably show you that. But you can go ahead and pre-order him if you want. There's also a breeder dragon who was purchased, but went back up for sale after the previous uh, order didn't go through. And there's also two leopard geckos. On the way are a few more leopard geckos, a few more ball pythons, a couple crested geckos, and I'm forgetting some stuff. But if you'd like updates, my Instagram is still banned. So you can join the mailing list at emeraldscales.com. And if you want a plushie, uh, what's behind me is what's left. So the pile is shrinking and once they're sold, they're not coming back, which you can grab at goharpine.com. But that'll be it. I'm Alex, here's the ball python, and thanks for watching.